Ukraine's new U.S. supply combat boats already patrolling Black Sea. Six U.S. Navy type patrol vessels have recently been supplied to Ukraine. These are already active in the Black Sea where they face a much more powerful adversary in the Russian Navy. But the Ukrainian Navy is building a reputation as an effective asymmetric force. The Ukrainian Navy suffered badly in the opening days of the Russian invasion. Now they are rebuilding and transforming. New boats are being supplied by the West, including River Rhine and coastal combat boats from the United States. The newly delivered Defiant Patrol boats are already operating in the Black Sea. The 40-foot, 12.2 meters, long 40 Defiant is built by Metal Shark in Franklin, Louisiana. Two Cummins QSB 6.7 diesel engines, driving twin water jets, allow it to reach speeds of up to 40 knots. The welded aluminum monohull design includes ballistic protection to increase combat survivability. In 2017, the U.S. Navy selected the Defiant to be known as the 40PB to replace existing Coastal River Rhine Forces CRF, boats. Now six of these have been supplied to Ukraine as part of a package following the Russian invasion. In U.S. Navy service, they can be equipped with remote-operated weapon stations. In Ukrainian service, they have been shown with crew-operated weapons, rebuilding the Ukrainian Navy. The rebuilding of Ukraine's Navy is timely. Even relatively small boats like the Defiant signal a growing readiness for possible next phases of the war. The Ukrainian Navy went into the war with a single frigate and various small combatants, patrol boats, and auxiliaries. Many were sunk or captured in the opening days of the invasion. And the frigate, Hetman Sahedagni, was scuttled. A few gunboats, patrol vessels, and Coast Guard vessels remained active. But these were no match for the Russian Navy at the time. Within a few months the situation began to change. Ukraine was able to deal the Russians a massive blow by sinking the cruiser Moskva with locally developed Neptune anti-ship missiles. And soon they received Harpoon anti-ship missiles from the West. As Western weapons flowed in, Ukraine started switching to the offense. The Russian Navy started to back away. The fact that Russia has so far appeared unable to eliminate the new Navy is telling. Russia can launch cruise missiles and kamikaze drones against military-relevant and civilian targets in Ukraine, but they don't appear to have the means to take the Navy on. This is despite having the vastly superior naval force in terms of warships. In fact, Russian warships appear to have been deterred from doing anywhere near the Ukrainian coast. Principally, this is because of the anti-ship missiles, and their air forces are similarly weakened. This has created space for Ukraine's resurgent navy.